Yo, this is Terry Hunter, and this is my inspiration. For one, it's one of my all-time favorite tracks that uh, Carrie Chandler did, Big Up to, to Carrie and Arnold Jarvis. Um, and it was just one of those records, man. It was something about the chords, man. That boom, boom, boom. That just really attracted me to the record. And as of the last three, four years, I've started playing that record like it's a new record. And realized a lot of people didn't know what that record was. So the idea came to me 10 years ago. Um, with recovering inspiration and I didn't have the right situation, I didn't have the right singer and it prevented me from doing the, the cover like I wanted to. And the other thing I think is important to me is people not realizing like at House Music, man, that record came out like 93, 94. Uh, the record's 19 years old. So um, we always reach back for classics that's in the 70s or joints that's made in the 80s and we want to go and recover them. Well, we got now classics that's 20 years old in our own genre of music that we haven't touched that I think needs to have a faceless. Uh, brother out of Detroit, um, DJ producer, like he's an incredible musician, uh, my man Piranha Head. Uh, he called me to do a remix for this record called Keep Lifting Me. And as a producer, the remixer, man, we don't get too many songs where as soon as you hear the person singing, you like, damn, who is this? And um, I called P and I was like, hey, Piranha here, man, what's up with your man, Eric King? He said, oh, no, you know, we're doing this and this and that. So once I did that remix, King Lifting Me uh, for Piranha Head, I knew that he will fit perfect on what I wanted to do with inspiration. So I gave them the idea, was like, yo man, listen, this is what I want to do, blah, 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 blah. And um, of course, Piranha had uh, hooked it up. And um, when we was recording the song, he got with a beautiful sister by the name of Divinity. She went in, she wrote the song with them. And man, it's, here it is today, it's 2012. First, I gotta say I've grown as a man. Um, I think I've uh, got a greater respect for dealing with people in the industry. Um, I think I've grown musically uh, as a producer and a DJ. And also, too, I've grown with adapting to the changes that we now see with creating music and putting out music. So. Um, it's definitely been a, a, a growth uh, within myself, so, you know, I, I guess that's a good thing. And, you know, I still like what I like and I still hate what I hate, so that's what it is. Definitely like Quincy Jones, um, people that know me, Roy Ayers, um, Stevie Wonder, the list can go on and on and on. Um, there's so many different producers from back in the day that have inspired me to do what I'm doing now. I don't necessarily um, listen to one style of music. When, when I'm at home, I'm listening to hip hop, I'm listening to funk, I'm listening to soul, break beats, whatever. But it, it, it's just whatever at the moment. I could be in the car listening to the radio and I hear a record. 
that might inspire me. I might be walking down the street and, and hear some sounds that kids are playing in the street and that might inspire me. So it's a whole bunch of elements that will draw me into making records. Um, it's just whatever hits me at that time, man. My next goal with DJ Terry Hunter, man, is just really building the catalog of Tease Box Records, man. Um, I'm putting out a lot of stuff this year, great music. Um, working with a lot of different Chicago producers like uh, my big little bro, Mike Dunn. Um, I got a record coming out um, with him that we just doing remixes back and forth. Like, the stuff that we doing right now is just is not a game, man. Like, the world has heard it and you haven't heard the finished products of what we're doing. Um, HD coming real soon, so y'all be on the lookout with that. And just really to me, man, just taking this music that we do around the world, man, and not fall to what the magazines is saying is hot. Can't nobody tell me, oh, this piece of steak is good, and I believe it until I eat it myself. What I want to overcome is all the politics, man. There's so much hating right now going on, especially in Chicago. And I'm sure it's going on around the world. But man, listen, if this person is doing this thing right now, let's 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 applaud that person for doing what he's doing and not try to hate on it. You know, it's my life right now. So guess what? Then join me instead of trying to say something against me. If it's if it's Mike Dunn, if it's Louis Vega, if it's Frankie, if it's whoever. Let's get behind that person and back that person instead of saying, oh, why are you doing whatever? And you're hating on the situation. So that's, to me, stop the hate because real music, real DJs, anything real is gonna rise to the top, no matter if you like it or not. And the ones that's doing the hating, thank you because you're making us relevant. You know who you are. Got it right.